Hello everyone and welcome to Reports Part 1. In this video you will learn how to use the Report Builder function. By the end of this video you will know how to organize your reports, how to create a new report, and how to execute a query. To give you an idea of what you can use the Report Builder for, here's Joe. Joe wants to view some of the company's resources and the properties that they have in a specific location. Let's say he wants to see their birthdays. If he were to go and click on every employee individually, he would be sifting through a lot of resources. Instead, using the Reports Builder tool, he can view the resources that meet his criteria and display the properties he was looking for quickly. All right, here we are in Mint Web Assistant. We'll go over to the menu and press the Reports button. This will take us to the Report Builder page. Over here on the left-hand side, we have the report categories. You can use these to organize your reports and find them at a moment's notice. So for our birthdays report, we're going to create a new category. We'll just name it birthdays. All right, go to this category, and then over here is where you can click to create a new report. The first tab you come to will be properties. Here we can change the name, and we'll change it to Antarctica because that's the location that we'll be looking at. The categories is already set to birthdays, and then we will leave the published at not published because we're not going to run this report. Published is if you are running it, and then archived is if you don't want anyone to edit the information in the report. You want it to be set in stone, almost like a PDF. We'll leave the valid from date for the 19th. That's just when the report is able to run from. The next tab over is the query, which is where you will actually ask for the information. The object of our query is resources. The properties is what information you would like to get about the resource, so what you would like displayed in data. So we would like to see the resource's name, and we would like to see their date of birth. Now, if you were to click Execute Query Now, you would come up with a whole lot of resources because you would be searching every resource in the database. So instead, we're going to put a limit on our search, and we say that we only want resources from a certain location, and we'll make that a location Antarctica. Now we'll execute our query, and it takes us to the data page where you can see all our resources in Antarctica and their date of birth. To organize these resources, uh, just click on the tab, the first name, and then it's alphabetized, or you can organize it by date of birth. Here's oldest to youngest, or youngest to oldest. If you want to see more information on this page, you need to add more properties. So let's say we also want to see their address, and let's say we want to see the cost per hour. So then we'll execute the query again, and these two new uh, properties have popped up. You can organize them as you see fit. So let's say we're happy with this data. This is all we wanted. So now we can either save as, which will save it to your computer in any of these formats, or we can save it to uh, Mint, and we'll just press OK. And there is your birthdays, Birthdays Antarctica. Lastly, I'd like to talk about the tools in report that we didn't hit on. We talked about properties, query, and data, but we didn't talk about design or report. We won't get into those in this video, but they do provide further customization, and we'll talk about them later on in this series. Thanks for watching.